here tends to be uncertain. Especially when you don't know where you're going. Sometimes memories can be very painful. They want things to have been different, to have been better than what they really were. That's not life. Some things are better forgotten. I wouldn't be too sure of that. After all, memories are rarely as reliable as we'd like to think. It's understandable to be afraid. But no matter how much you attempt to sink your past, no matter what you've submerged, it will eventually resurface. What do you remember about him? There was this stream behind our house that we used to go to when, when he was able. I remember being alone, drowning. He didn't even try to save me. Dad! I don't even think he wanted to. You might not believe me, but I'm trying to help you. Help me do what? Reach the surface before you drown. Hello, son. Max, there is so much I've wanted to tell you. When your mother died, I... I never dreamed I would lose you too. But I did. I really never knew how to be a father. Your mother wanted a child. And she was always better. I wanted your mother but I knew what she would have wanted. And when we lost her, without her, I was lost too. I tried loving you as best I could, but it wasn't good enough. No, Dad. It was never good enough. I still remember struggling against that current. reaching out, calling out for you. You never came. There I was, struggling to save every last breath. And all I could think about is why my father never even tried to save me. Now I know. Max. You, you never fell into that stream.
Sometimes we remember the things the way we want to remember them. I never wanted to hurt you. Never wanted to hurt me, no. Dad, you did a hell of a lot more than hurt me. You. You scarred me. You've crippled me. Memory held an almost religious significance to the ancient Greeks. They believed that upon a soul's death, they arrived in Hades, where they were given a choice. Drink from the river Lethe and forget their pain and fear. Or they could choose to drink from the river Namasani, the river of memory. Those who chose to forget were reborn, reincarnated, if you will, to learn to live their lives better. Those who chose to remember, to face their pain, were allowed entry to paradise. Our memories help to shape what we know they influence our perceptions and ideas about ourselves and the world around us. They can provide us with strength. And they can weaken us. In the past, we were stuck with painful memories, like an incurable disease, but not anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to introduce the Namasane, the world's first memory exploration and cognitive alteration procedure. I am here to tell you that at last, we can change the way you remember. Finally, you have a choice. Thank you.